All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Supercar Street Racing and Brad here. And today we have a tour of the golf cart audio system. All right, guys, welcome back. I finally got some zip ties. I'm ready to start cleaning up this wiring. I'm waiting on the Bluetooth adapter though, and it will not be here until later today. So I'm gonna start with what I have, and that is getting some of these white zip ties off.
Finally got a replacement Bluetooth adapter, the one that I had, the power cable was jacked up on it. So we got our new Bluetooth adapter there. So I'm just going to finish up all the wiring now and dress everything nicely while you guys watch.
Okay, we are ready to test the new Bluetooth adapter. We are connected to Wi-Fi here, and we got some YouTube. Let's see. Which does not want to load, so let's kill it. And open it back up. All right, we got internet. I just finished redoing again the entire audio system back here, all the wiring. I was having a little bit of OCD about it, so I went ahead and redid it all with less connectors. I figured out a way to use less connectors and redid all the tubing and all that. Um, one thing I really need to do now is throw a zip tie around this guy right here to clean it up a little bit. But that's about it. I just wanted to give you guys a good look. We've got the inverter there. We've got the five channel amp there, the epicenter on the back of the back seat, the relay or the uh, circuit breaker for the amp is there, and then the voltage reducer is there, and the Bluetooth adapter is there. So I am gonna go ahead and button all this up. It works perfectly now, all the channels are correct now, and I'm happier.
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and now we have a tour of the golf cart audio system which is completely finished and we will start here in the back where we have a 12 inch woofer here and this is a SCAR audio dual voice coil, 4 ohm per voice coil, paralleled for a 2 ohm load. We also have a quick disconnect here made of just two plugs that I fabricated so I can take the box out easily. It's just a regular electrical plug. The enclosure sits facing the inside of the cart there and the little cover inside there is off to help the base transfer. I do have to do a couple more wire tie I see right here, but this is the amp rack. Yeah, it looks like I missed tying up some wires under there. Just totally missed it. But this is the amp rack and on top you can see we have the, I'm going to do this over 